Get ready for our game of speed and strategy. This is the Battlefield Park game of Blockbuster. And now here's your host, the star of Blockbusters, Brandon Scrub. No, thank you. Thank you all so much. Wonderful crowd here. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you much. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to another edition of Blockbusters right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. On our last episode, we crowned ourselves a brand new champion, and he's back to see if he can make his continue his strive toward five wins here on our show. So let's meet him now. Coming back to us with a grand total so far after one day of $52,000. Please welcome back Mr. A.J. Richards. Brandon. Welcome back, sir. Thank you for having me. Yes, uh, did a fantastic job your first time out here on the show. But managed to get through the gold run successfully with time to spare. Picked up $50,000 there. So perfect game so far, fifty-two grand. Are uh, you ready to see if you can get, make win number two today? I certainly will hope I can try. Well, we'll see what happens there. Good luck to you, and let's welcome in your opponent for today's game. Coming to us all the way from the town of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, please welcome back Neil Sternitsky. Hey, Brandon. Great to be back here with you once again. Yeah, glad to have you aboard here, uh, Neil. I pit, you pit, saw Neil a little bit earlier this season here. He picked up... Uh, one win so far for the season, but uh, he'd like to get back and try to make that strive for five for himself. Uh, Neil, remind the folks at home a little bit about you, sir. Certainly. I'm 34 years old. I live in Wisconsin, as you said. It's finally warming up as of the time we're taping this episode right now, mm -hmm. but I'm a Hot Wheels collector, Funko Pop collector, and lover of game shows. Oh, fantastic. Well, well, glad to have you aboard here. Welcome back. And good luck to you both. Let's go ahead and jump right into our game of Blockbusters. Loading the board. All right. And as always, here is our game board with the letters up there. Each of those letters represents the first letter to the correct answer to the questions I'm about to ask you. Players will pick a letter, ask them a question. If you get it right, we'll turn the spot their color. And their objective here is to try to make a connection to their colors um, on, from one side of the board to the other. Now, on uh, this game, uh, AJ as the champion will be playing in the white position. Uh, Neil as the challenger will be playing the red position. Of course, in our first game, uh, Neil will try to make that shorter connection, the top to bottom. He can do that in as few as four correct answers. Meanwhile, AJ has a little bit harder time to do. He's got to go side to side. He can do that in as few as five correct answers. And as always, in game two, they'll switch sides of the board to play. And first player to win a best two out of three matchup wins the game and goes on to the gold run for a chance at $50,000. All right. So I wish you both the best of luck. Let's get right into our game here and start by looking at our first letter of the day. Letter N. Neil is already happy about this, I can tell. Yes, I am. All right, first answer starts with the letter N, so hands on buzzers and buzz in as soon as you think you know the correct answer to it. What N can be aquiline, pug, or snub, and can also be found in the middle of your face? And that's Neil. Nose. Nose is correct. Very good. All right, and just like that, you are on the board, sir. Where would you like to go? Letter J, please. Letter J. Looking at the top of the board there. Answer starts with J. What J was the beloved disciple? And that's AJ. Judas. Say that again. Judas. No, I'm sorry. It's not Judas. And Neil, chance for you again. What J was the beloved disciple? Uh... I'm going to take a guess and say Jesus? No, 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 no. It's not Jesus. Jesus had 12 disciples, and of the 12, his beloved one was John. John was the beloved no. disciple. No question there. It's all right. No harm, no foul. We'll just go on to another J question. Uh, let's try this one. What J is a box that automatically plays records when a coin is in? AJ? Box. Say that again? 
Jukebox. Ah, that's what I thought you said. You're right. Very good. <laughs> AJ with a block there, and now he gets the option. Where to? T, T please. Letter T. All right. Working his way across the board here. Answer starts with T. All right, players, fill in the blank on this one. What T goes before boy, foolery, and Tom? AJ. Tom? Yes, Tom is correct. Very good. Oh. Yes, tomboy, tomfoolery, and a tom tom, a type of uh, Indian drum there. So, all right. Oh, all right. Yes, I thought uh, I thought w, I could trick please. y'all with that one. Apparently, you didn't. So, well done. Where to? W, please. Letter W. All right. So, start that path on the side to side. Neil, of course, wanting to jump in and block. Here it is. What W is an old-fashioned term for radio, or Describes cell phone service. AJ. Wireless. Wireless is correct. Very good. Well done. Get you on the board there. And where to? D as in dog. All right. Letter D. Again, Neil trying to stop him here and make that top connection for himself as well. Here we go. Answer with D. What D? are thought to have worshipped something at Stonehenge. AJ again. Deities? No, I'm sorry, it's not deities. Uh, Neil, another chance for you. What D were thought to have worshipped something at Stonehenge? I know I'm wrong here. Dogs? No, I'm sorry, not dogs. (laughs) Um, some people believe that druids actually worshipped at Stonehenge. Oh. So druids is what we're looking for there. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure the Undertaker would know about that. Yeah, I'm going to say, you, you go ask the dead man, let me know what he says on that one. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got another D question here, so hands on buzzers. What D is the name given to metal containers for transporting oil? That's AJ. Drum. Drum is correct. Very good. All right, AJ, where to? Uh, S for the first win. All right, and he's he's correct. If he gets this S, that will be game one for him, $1,000, and he'll be off to a great start. So, Neil, must need to get a block here if you can. Fill in the blanks, players. What S goes before Armada, Onion, AJ for the win? Spanish. And guitar Spanish is correct. You've got game number one. Well done, sir. Yes, no one expects the Spanish Armada or the Spanish Inquisition. But no one no one would really expect the French. But again, that's a whole different story from the time. <laughs> but well done, AJ. Game one is yours. You're on the board with $1,000. And we're going to see if Neil can play catch up here in game number two, which we'll have on the other side of this commercial break. Stick around. More blockbusters after this. Welcome back to Blockbusters here. A good game going on between our two players. Our champion AJ is out to the early game lead. He's one, up one to nothing. He's got $1,000 so far. Neil's going to have a little bit harder time to try to play catch up, but it can be done. I've seen it happen in the past before, so let's see what happens as we jump into game number two of our of our episode here. Let's load to the board. And as you can see, as always, our players have switched sides now. Uh, Neil will be playing that side-to-side connection. AJ is going to make try to make that top-to-bottom connection here. And let's see what letter we start with this time. Letter L. Okay. We're going to take the L early so somebody can catch the W later. Fair enough. I like it. All right. Um, here we go. First answer starts with L as we start game, uh, round two. What L are the short poems that begin, there was an old man, uh, and that is Neil. Is that a limerick? Limerick is correct. Very good. On the board. Good job, Neil. Yes. Full question there. Uh, what the short poems that begin, there was an old man from Peru. 
I have a whole, I have one I could say, but I can't say it on air for the sake of it's kind of nasty. But it's funny nonetheless. I'll tell you during a commercial break. For now, though, Neil, you've got control of the board. Where would you like to go? Well, I'm looking forward to that commercial break. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, let's try letter D, please. Letter D. All right. Just going to work his way across that middle of the board here. Another D question. Here it is. What D? Was the birthplace of Yeats, that's Y E A T S, Wilds and Shaw, and can be found in Ireland? And that's Neil again. Dublin. Dublin is correct. Very good. All right. That's the old Dublin, Ireland. The land of the Guinness, I think. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, Neil, you've got control. Where to? Let her be, please. Let her be. All right. Where can be there? Answer starts with B on this one. What B is played on a table with balls? And that's AJ. Billiards. Balls and a rod. Billiards is correct. Very good. Ooh. There we go. AJ jumping in there to stop stop the run. Um, Neil was on. Where to, sir? Y, please. Letter Y. Again, going to try to make that top connection there. Why? Answer starts with why. What why is a pudding eaten with milk and is also in English County? That's AJ again. York. No, I'm sorry. It's not York. Again, chance for Neil here. What why is a pudding, is a pudding eaten with milk and is also in English County? Uh, yogurt? No, I'm sorry. It's not yogurt. Uh, you were very close, AJ. I couldn't give it to you. It's Yorkshire or Yorkshire. Uh, yeah, Yorkshire. Oh. Yeah, Yorkshire pudding and Yorkshire County in there. Okay, That's what we're looking I for. Understand. So, couldn't take that one from you. I'm sorry there. I understand. Right. Here I am thinking about dairy products. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you're and you're from Wisconsin, the land of cheese. I thought you might have gotten that one, but that's just me. All right. It's all right. No harm. We'll just go with another why question. So hands on buzzers. What why is a festive season of Christmas time? And that's AJ. Yuletide. Yule or Yuletide. I would accept it either one this time. You're right. That's right. There you go. You've got it. And it's your choice. N as in Nancy. Uh, letter N. Uh, evil Nancy who's keeping my... Keeping my subscription dollars away from me. Curse you, Nancy! <laughs> anyway. At least it's not a Karen. Uh, oh, no, it's Nancy. It's far worse. But I, I digress. Anyway, answer starts with N. What N is the N of DNA and RNA? Again, what D is the DNA... Is sorry. What N is the N of DNA and RNA? <laughs> That's time there. Answer we were looking for there is um, nucleic. It's nucleic ah. is what we're. Yeah, DNA is the shortened form of deoxyribonucleic acid. So okay. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> That's okay. No harm, no foul. We'll just. Uh, We'll just jump into another N question here. All right. What N, uh, fill in the blank, players. What N goes before truth, ladies, and ape? And that's Neil. Noble? No, I'm sorry. It's not noble. AJ, do you have a guess? Uh, please repeat the question one more time. And one Brandon. more time. What N goes before truth, ladies, and ape? I have no guess, Brandon. All right. We were looking for naked. Naked. Oh. Yeah, the, na the naked truth, naked ladies, and naked ape. I was actually thinking about that, too. <laughs> yeah, should have went there. Should have went there this time. That's okay. One time, the dirty answer is the right answer. Yeah, that's all right. No harm. We'll try another N question here. Got plenty of them. Hands on buzzers. What N is a type of orange or... That's Neil. Navel? 
or small depression in the stomach, navel's correct. All right, Neil. Okay. Good bl- a good block there, stopping AJ's connection there. Where would you like to go? Yeah, I've got a couple choices here, so... Let's try something interesting and go with Q. And the popular Q. Probably one of our most used letters we've already had this season. Because I've went through so many Q questions already. <laughs> That's all right. We will have plenty more here. So let us uh, try another Q question here. Let's see. What Q means most essential or typical? And that's Neil. Quintessential? Quintessential is correct. Very good. (laughs) Oh, dang. (laughs) All right. Neil, um, interesting setup for you so far. Where would you like to go? Yeah, let's go with uh, C, please. Let her see. All right. Going to work his way across the top there. AJ going to try to jump in for a block. What C is the Patreon saint of travelers and sailed the ocean blue? And that would be Neil. Columbus? No, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not Columbus there. AJ, chance for you again. What sea is the patron saint of travelers and sailed the ocean blue with the last name Columbus? Christopher. Christopher is correct. There it is. You had the right idea, Neil, but you gave me the wrong part of the name I needed in that one. So, All right. Anticipation got you there. And AJ, you're back in control of the board. Where to? Um, let's do you, please. All right. Letter U. To make that connection down at the bottom here, answer starts with you. What you means against the current or near the source? And that's Neil. Upstream? Upstream is correct. Very good. All right, Neil. Very good for you. You've got that bottom connection there. Now, where would you like to go? Got a little fork in the road going here. So, uh... Let's try I. Letter I. Okay. What I has a desert called the Negev? And that's Neil. Israel? Israel's correct. Very good. Oh, God. All right. I'm in. All right. Neil, your control. Where would you like to go? Letter G for the win, please. All right. I'm going to go for the G, and if he gets this, that will be the side-to-side connection, and he will tie up the match. So, AJ, necessary block is needed on this one here. So, Okay. What G was once divided into two and produces hook and sauerkraut? And that's Neil for the win. Germany. Germany is correct. You've tied up the match. Well done. Good job, Neil. Well done, both of you there. Neil, with another big win there, $1,000 for you. We are all tied up one game apiece, so only for the second time this season, we're going to a tiebreaker match. Who's going to get a shot at $50,000 in the gold run? Find out on the other side of this break here on Blockbuster. Step back with us. Welcome back to Blockbusters here. A good battle going on between both of our players right now. We have each player with one game and $100. Sorry, not $100, $1,000. What am I thinking? This is not the 1970s version of this. <laughs> anyway, each player with one game in their bank, $1,000 a piece. So we're going to see who's going to become our champion and go on to the gold run here. Let's go ahead and set up the board for our tiebreaker round. All right, as you can see here in our tiebreaker, no player has the advantage here, so it's four questions for each person to see who will make it on and win our game. Uh, AJ once again going left to right, Neil going top to bottom in his one. So good luck to you both. Let's start the tiebreaker round with this letter. Letter U. All right, we're going to start in the corner. Seems like an appropriate place for both players to take advantage of here. As we begin with um, this U question. What U 
means customary or according or occurring in ordinary circumstances. Again, once again, what you and that's AJ. Unusual. No, I'm sorry, it's not unusual. I'll repeat it for Neil here. What you means customary or occurring in ordinary circumstances. Usual. Usual is correct. Very good. Hey, you said unusual, AJ. We're looking for just usual on that one. So. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. All right, Neil, you've got the first spot on the board in this round. Where would you like to go? P, please. Letter P. All right. What P means failure in an exam or pulling out feathers of bravery? And that is Neil. Pluck. Pluck is correct. Very good. All right, got it there. So that's two for you there. Where would you like to go? T, please. Letter T. All right, working straight down that sideline there. So, AJ, going to need to try to catch up here if you can. What T is a valuable food fish that has... And that's AJ. Tuna. That has varieties called bluefin, big eye, and slip... Or skipjack, excuse me. You are correct. It is tuna. Oh. All right. Never heard of Let's... a skipjack tuna before. That's a new one for me. All right. Oh, yeah. Jay, where to? W, please. Letter W. All right. Making that immediate right at Albuquerque here. Try to get him back in the match here. What W is a little tool for beating eggs or cream into a froth? And that's AJ. Would it be a uh, whip? No, I'm sorry. It's not a whip. A full question again for Neil. What W is a little tool for beating eggs or cream into a froth? That would be a whisk. Whisk is the correct answer. Very good. All right. All right. Very close, AJ. Just off by like one letter or two on that one. So, uh, Neil, you control the board. Where would you like to go? S, please. Letter S. All right. Fill in the blank, players. What S comes after police, fire, and railway? And that's Neil. Station. Station is correct. Very good. All right. And where to? H for the win. And see what happens here. H, he gets this. He wins the game, the match, and becomes the new champion here on Blockbuster. So... AJ, it is now it is now must win situation for you. Here we go. What H is the opposite of perpendicular? Neil for the win. Horizontal. And we have a new champion. Well done. Good game, Neil. And well done. The horizontal correct answer there for you gives you the game, the match, and you are the new champion here on Blockbusters. Well done. Thank you, AJ. You played a very good game, sir. I thought I thought you might have had it early on with that early win for you, but it didn't quite work out. But did you have fun with us here while you were on the show? I had a great time, Brian. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're no, you were so happy to have you, and you're not leaving here empty-handed, sir. You're taking with you a thousand dollars from today, along with the fifty-two thousand dollars you had previously. So you lock away here from Blockbusters with a with a two-game total. Of fifty three thousand dollars, sir. Now, thanks for playing. All right, and thank you. You're welcome. And Neil, congratulations, sir. A hard fought comeback victory for you. You picked up two thousand dollars in the main game here. We're going to see if you could add another fifty thousand to it as we tackle the goal run, and we'll do that on the other side of the break. You're on Blockbuster. Stay with us. Welcome back here to Blockbusters here with our new champion, Mr. Neil Sternitsky, with us. A grand total so far of $2,000. But you'd like to win another $50,000, would you not? Of course. i got to add to that Funko Papa and Hot Wheels collection. Oh, no kidding. I'm going to say uh, you can get some of the big ones with, with uh, that kind of money. 
But I got I to gotta ask you, say, after a very good battle between you and AJ, how are you feeling coming out of that last game? A lot better than the first time I played earlier this season. Uh, I can, I can I, tell I, you I that. I had time to sit here and watch other players play this, and I can get a, a better rhythm of this. Right. I understand. Like I said, sometimes it is going with that first-time experience that you, if you don't have it, it's like it can be very nerve-wracking here. But, hey, let's go see if you can get the big money here as we play the gold run. All right, here's what you've got to do. In 60 seconds or less, all you got to do is work your way across the board, connecting the gold to the gold. If you can do that before time runs out, you're walking away with $50,000. What I'll do is you'll pick a letter. I'll read you the clue behind that. Uh, get the clue right. We'll turn that space gold. We'll move on across the board. If you're wrong or you don't know it and you pass, we'll put up a block. You have to work your way around it. Right? And, of course, as long as you can make that gold-to-gold -gold connection and time limit, you get the money. Simple as that. Okay? All right. All right. Well, let's get ready. Let's set the clock for 60 seconds, please. All right. The time will not start until I finish reading the first clue. And I wish you the best of luck, Neil. All right. Where would you like to begin? D, please. All right. Letter D. Here we go. Your gold run begins now. Is the is the adjective applied to wines that aren't sweet? Pass. G. Is the element with the atomic number 79? Gold. Right. N. Is where you go to see the highest mountain in the world? Nepal. Right. M. Is a metallic element that is liquid at room temperature. Mercury. Right. Eight. Is a group of birds proverbially said to have very good sight. Hummingbird. Wrong. P. Is the vegetable source of the starch called farina. P. Wrong. E. Is a town famous for its salts and racehorse? Uh, Edmonton. Wrong. Uh, K. Oh. Ah, didn't get it in time there. Oh. Neil, you were doing so well, and then just fortunately ran into some uh, blocks there up on the board. Let's go back and catch the one that you didn't get. Starting with the very first one, which was letter D. What D is the adjective applied to wines that are not sweet? They're typically either dry. a sweet wine or a dry wine. Yes, dry is what we're looking for there. Uh, let's see. Next one was H. What H is a group of birds proverbially said to have had very good sight? Those are hawks. Hawks uh -huh. is what we're looking for there. Uh, letter P is the vegetable source that is the, the vegetable source of the starch called farina. You find that in potatoes. That's the potato oh. starch there. And finally, letter E. Uh, e is the town famous for its salts and racehorses. Uh, it's called Epsom. The Epsom salts, wow. if you remember those. Tip typically used for like bath bombs and things of that nature there. But uh, ran into, unfortunately, the brick wall there on the board but hey you did very well you got three of them right in the time limit so we're going to give you a thousand dollars for each of those so that's three thousand dollars here plus the two you won in the upfront portion of the game you're coming back as our champion next time with five thousand dollars sir well done well thanks thanks for having me uh, we'll look forward to having you back next time here and in the meantime, between time, we thank you at home for watching another fun-filled episode of Blockbusters. If you like this and want to see more of it, check out the entire season playlist here on the channel. And if you want to subscribe to see other great show, game show games like this of the past, present, or in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until we, the battlefield is reset once again, we have two more players going after $50,000 in cash. I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching, and join us next time, won't you, for another fun-filled edition of Blockbusters. Take care. Bye for now, folks.
This is your announcer, Brandon Strud, speaking for Blockbuster, an SBC game show presentation in association with MVG Productions.